BYU's Elaine Michaelis. Coach Michaelis, just one of the great legends of all time in the Hall of Fame, led BYU to so many terrific seasons. But Jolene Nagel, the sole flag bearer now for the ladies. But we do know this, a Pac-10 team will get there because we have two fighting for a spot here and then two fighting for a spot tonight when Cal and Washington tee off. John Dunning with his Stanford Cardinal team. Nick Haley trying to get USC past the Cardinal for the first time this season. And there is Williams. And again, Nick Haley calls this timeout. His team settles down, they come down, and they get a point out of it. Just amazing timing by him. Williams again. And she is a junior all pack 10 for the first time in her career this season. She has really come on strong. 10 kills yesterday against Indiana, hitting 444. And, you know, that middle blocker, she has been so good for them in the middle. Well, you're right, Holly, and you don't think about Lauren Williams for USC because there are so many others that stand out. The 13 kills for her and just just silently moves herself into the middle, puts it down. She, to me, as was the one that kind of got things going early, uh, earlier in this match. Then, uh, you know, the combination of players put it together, the freshman Fanoi Ma'ana, and just that mixture, that movement of the offense uh, has paid off for USC. Well, Stanford, the most storied program in women's volleyball history, the most titles of everybody, six. But Penn State with four, they're trying for their fourth straight this season. They have been hot of late. Hawaii, a surprising upset. Dave Shoji's team going down in the early rounds this year. Long Beach State, back in the day of the great Misty May. Yeah. We are here at the University of Dayton, Dayton, Ohio. And both teams have come a long way. Stanford from the Bay Area, USC from Los Angeles, but they want to go a little farther. Who will go to Kansas City? Stanford with a one point lead, but USC with the serve. Bateman. In the middle, it's Wolpat, the freshman. Nine kills for Carly. Coming in, that's what Stanford wanted to do. They wanted to attack the middle. John Denning said that that will be key. USC, I think, earlier in this match did a little better job, but as of late, they have found Wolpat in the middle. Jupiter makes him pay. Let's see, back within one. Both teams are having finals. USC, six people had to take finals here at the University of Dayton this week. Stanford did many of theirs as, long, as well. So a lot of pressure, but none more than this fifth set with a trip to the national championship on the line. Outside to the freshman. Yes, Fanoi Moana ties it up. Point, like a big breath of air for the team that you just get it tied up and it's start all over again. Tied at two sets apiece. The winner of this fifth and deciding set goes to Kansas City for a chance to play for it all. In the middle again, Williams is there. Lauren Williams has been clutch. The junior middle blocker. That long wingspan. Short, quick. Arm in the middle. Nobody there to block it. She finds the opening. It's right open. Season high was 17 kills, but already tonight, 13 kills. What makes her so unique? At 6'4, she's so long, we've got the long levers, but the, the foot quickness, she's up quickly in that middle. Definitely an attentive player. She has, just, as you said, the quickness. You don't know, expect that from a player of her length, but much quicker foot speed than you would anticipate. And there you see Mick Haley teaching his team. Just, he's such a teaching coach. Love that about him. He and John Dunning both. USC trying to get back to that national championship run. They're looking for title number five. Stanford has seven, but they haven't won it since 2004. Who will it be with the opportunity in Kansas City? They will play the winner of the Cal-Washington match. That comes up later tonight. 
We've got three regional finals left for you this, this evening alone. This is exciting for women's volleyball. Outside, Kleinman. Hagelin, the freshman, great defense. And for Noe Moana, she tries to say it was off the block, but doesn't get the call. Inner serving, number 15, Carissa Cook. All tied up. Three points away. Williams quick in the middle, but they read her this time. And here's Lickman. Climbing on the overpass. Gives Stanford the one point lead. A pretty save from Natalie Hagelin Libero for USC, but it sends it right back over to Alex Climbing just waiting on it. Here's the cook on the serve. Noi Moana. What do they do with the overpass? Cook middle. There's Kleinman and she's roofed. USC ties it up. Career high in attacks for Kleinman, 78. And with that, she's got 26 kills, hitting 282. You gotta go to your go-to. Critical point here in this one. And Walker wipes it off the block. And Stanford, a point away from a trip to the national championship. And how fitting the on senior yeah. Kleinman with a chance to put it away right here. It's Stanford on their feet. Keeps the Trojans alive. Trojan. Tied up at 14. And some emotion from the sideline. You know, we've seen the Noi Moana make some decisions that she probably should have made, hitting some long, hitting some wide. That one, though, she doesn't let up. She just keeps bringing the power. Katie Fuller with the serve. Outside, but Williams, the freshman, is long. USC a point away from their trip to the national championship. This young team, you can see the excitement. John Dunning was up trying to say, hey, I think there was a touch on that one. They don't give it to him. Lickman is roofed. USC advances. <laughs> 